back to another one. Hey, if you're new here, I am Larry, and we are the Johnsons. You'll see them all here very shortly. Today's Sunday. Not sure when you're watching this, but for us, it's Sunday, which means it's barbecue day. Wait until you see what we got going on the grill today. But first, Jennifer is picking potatoes. Have a look. So I'm not sure after how many days this pot here only gave us this. Kind of thinking we got ripped off compared to some of the other pots. The other pots were just loaded with potatoes. Anyway, let's get over to the grill. Uh, in case you are new here, we are using a char grill or grill. No, it's not sponsored. But I got it because I like the big cooking surface. Which makes it a lot easier to put a lot of food on there. That was part of the problem we had with our other one. Anyway, I'm going to run aside and grab the meat. It didn't come out right, did it? Look at the smoke. Gotta love it. So we're gonna try and keep this right around 300 degrees all afternoon. We have smoke. <laughs> We've got a uh, beef roast, beef ribs, beef ribs, pork ribs. Before it builds the bark on all this, we have to go ahead and put this with the apple wood in there so that we can get the smoke into the raw meat. That's the way I see it. Also, I'm starting with the bone side down first, not the meat. Do it how you like to do it. guys so i'm just using some regular true north apple wood chips now you saw it flaring up there when you close the lid it's going to go out and this is what you got so all this apple wood smoke is going into the raw meat at least that's the way i'm looking at it so watch here see all that that's all <laughs> that's all going into the meat before it gets the bark on it Am I right? Am I wrong? I'm not a professional barbecuer, as you can tell. But we do like to have fun with it on Sundays. We are rolling smoke. and see where we're at i think we are still flipped yes we are still flipped so what i'm going to do is i'm going to once i figure they're pretty much done on the meat side i'm going to put them back in the tins let's cover them with tin foil put them back on the grill and put a little bit of water in there that way it doesn't dry out after about uh, 45 minutes i'm going to take them off and i'm going to lower the heat a bit i'm going to take them off i'm going to wrap them in tin foil and put them back on the grill whether whether it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't people that are eating it if they complain i'll kick them out like i said all you professional grillers out there are going oh my god or you backyard professional grillers i cannot believe you're doing that you barbecue the way you want to barbecue and i'll barbecue the way i want to barbecue uh usually i'm winging it well we are nearing the end of this redneck barbecue time to have a look and see where we're at we need to check the roast first y'all a little closer for this one here 
Hopefully it's not anticlimactic here. Oh, will you all look at that. Mmm. I'm going to cut that open. I'm probably going to slice it up and put it right back in there. Then put the sauce on it. Because that way the sauce gets all over the place. Stand by. If you all do it this way, let me know. I just, I'm just winging it. Y'all gotta see this. Get you off of here. Look at that. Nice smoke ring. Nice and juicy. I think we did it. You all know I gotta try it, right? Oh my god. That just falls apart in your mouth, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. All you naysayers out there telling me you can't barbecue that way. Here's the idea. We're going to get this back in here. We're going to give this one to Jack Daniels. Get the rest of them. We're gonna take them out, put the sauce on them, put them right back on. All right. So right now we're just keeping things warm. This happened to fall off that roast. I'm not quite sure why. A little bit of barbecue sauce on. Mm -hmm. Advantages of being a cook. Look at this. The roast just falls apart. Falls apart. Anyway, I'm gonna eat the rest of this before anybody gets here. See you all in a minute. It's time to take these in the house. I don't know if you want chicken fingers or Beef. pork. Sure. Roast. He's okay, Tom. It's in there. I don't know if it's going to rain or not. Well, if you all been around my channel for any length of time, you know these barbecue videos usually end up with me filling my face and not touching the camera. Today, well, I filled my face. The ribs were great, both the beef and the pork. Most amazingly, the roast was fall apart as you could see we all had a good time we all had some good food that's what it's all about just another sunday here in ontario anyway that's all i got for today's video i hope you all enjoyed that would you please hit that subscribe button down below because we would love to have you along we'll see you all in the next one later oh you all look at that mm. try it whether, whether if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. The people that are eating it, if they complain, I'll kick them out. Simple as that.